Greetings, Divine Radiance. How are you today? I am Nikila Asha of Ash for Scott Life Sculpting. I am a divine interpreter and psychic life coach, assisting you with activating the divinity and wisdom within your soul. So today, you may notice that I am outside doing your Tuesday Tips and Tools video, and I'm wearing the color red. Now the reason why I'm wearing red is because it is a grounding color. It helps to ground you. It also helps to feed the root chakra and increase the energy there. But I am in my special place where I like to come and I meditate. And so what I'm doing today is showing you how I do part of my daily routine and ritual, right? So every day I smudge myself, I protect myself. And by doing this, what I'm doing is actually shielding my energy and it minimizes the amount of energy that I pick up from others, right? Whether it's a human other or a spirit other, right? It just keeps you protected. So let me go ahead and show you. I can show you better than I can tell you. So in regards to the smudging, what I'm going to do is just get my sage good and lit. And you can light it as much or as little as you feel led. Okay, so I'm just going to put the lighter down. But so now that it's lit, what I do is I start with the chakras on the bottom of my feet. So I literally, each foot, look, balance on this side. I usually hold on to something because years ago I fell down a hill, broke my leg, ankle, and tore a ligament. So this side, the balance isn't the greatest. But I start with the feet, then I hit the root chakra. I always spin at least three times, sometimes more. Then I come up to the sacral. I come up to the solar plexus. I come up to my heart. And just depending on what I'm doing or what I'm going through, sometimes I'll just hold it there and just allow myself to feel that energy cleansing. So like if I've had an experience where my heart feels heavy, I'll just let it sit there, right? And then you proceed up to your throat, your third eye, your ear chakras. Your ear chakras are extremely valuable because if you were someone that experienced verbal abuse of any sort, it helps to clear out that narrative that may often play. And then when I get to the crown, I always do this so I can make sure I'm not gonna set myself on fire. And then I do my crown. And then after, I come under and over, right? Now what I also do is I bring it up, right? I bring the smoke up, right? So the reason why you're gonna come up is because you're bringing the energy up, right? If I were to go down, I would be bringing my energy down. So I'm gonna set this down. And then what I do is the auric field strengthening exercise. So what you're gonna do is stand in your power pose, think Wonder Woman or Superman or cheerleader. <laughs> Ready? No, just kidding. <laughs> but then you, and you're just gonna do this until you intuitively, intuitively feel led to stop, right? And then when you feel intuitively led to stop, you're gonna bring that energy down and around right and you're just feeling yourself creating a shield a bubble you're going to bring each foot up so it goes under you and then what i do whatever comes to me that is not of highest light and love may it return to cinder or wherever it's meant to go for cleansing i say that three times and then i end it with and so it is right now one of the things you can do when you're creating that shield of protection around you is you're going to see it as having a reflective shield a reflective layer on the outside because what this does in addition to your words you just spoke whatever comes to me that is not of highest light and love may it return to cinder or wherever it's meant to go for cleansing what you're also doing is creating something that is going to ping off of right so now it's double amplified and then if you'd like to not only have your shield of protection but let's say you'd like to exude more love you can visualize it having that mirror with hearts on it right or you can put glitter on it right if you'd like to be protected but you are choosing to not have your energy feel standoffish or like you're not open to receive from others right so you can decorate it you know and just allow yourself to envision it now you're good to go now when you go out into the world you're going to be less 
of an open channel to take on the energy of others. Because if you're watching this, you're an empath, right? You're an empath, you're a light worker, you're all these star seed, all these beautiful things. And as empaths, light workers, and all the other good things we are, we tend to just be magnets for energy, right? And if you're not protecting, instead of transmuting certain energy or shielding yourself from it, you become a sponge. And you'll be feeling things in your life, where is that coming from? thinking it's yours, and in reality, it could be Joe Blows or Susie Hughes up the street, right? So I encourage you to add this to your morning routine or rituals. At the end of your night, smudging yourself again is very important because you're releasing all of the energy that you may have picked up, right? A little bit that you picked up, you'll be releasing that, okay? So let me know how you feel after you do it. Thank you so much for being here. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed. If this resonated or helped you or you're going to create a routine that includes this, leave me a comment letting me know and a thumbs up. I thank you so much for allowing me to serve you and I leave you with peace, love, bliss, and abundance. I'll talk to you soon.